Hi, hello. Hi, hello, good morning everyone. This is Ramvi Mutapuram, representing Unisen Niyapu, today's your yoga teacher. Let us start our session with a positive note. We are going to do, today's practice will be related to obesity and stress. So, common, the most common factor of today's lifestyle disease is obesity and stress. Obesity causes many problems. So to reduce to reduce and to stay happy active, we have to practice yoga daily. Let us start with a good opening prayer. Sit comfortably, spine erect, roll back your shoulders on your mat. Just sit comfortably. Now let us speak few words about yoga. Lord Sri Krishna is considered as Yogeshwara again according to Bhagavad Gita. He is considered as Yogeshwara because he is the one who unites the three worlds. Now according to Lord, Lord Sri Krishna, Yoga is the supreme power. The act which we do should be done at, uh, with whole consciousness, whole concentration, with our soul and with our mind dedication. So every act performed like that becomes a yoga. So he explained everything detailly in Karma Yoga. Let us now pay gratitude to our Lord Sri Krishna with our heart and soul. Slowly bring your palms to the chest center. Raise your elbows. Roll back your shoulders. Slowly take a deep breath in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, slowly close your eyes, take a deep breath in, breathe out, relax yourself, focus on your breath, take a deep breath in, breathe out. Now let us chant Omkar and pay gratitude to Lord Vasudev. Take a deep inhalation. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya. Breathe out. Take a deep breath in. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Again, breathe in. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Breathe out, relax yourself, breathe in, breathe out again and slowly rub your palms, make them warm, gently place them on your eyes, slowly slide down your fingers from your eyes, hands into Namaskar Mudra. Pull down your head to your fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and lift your head up and gently open your eyes with a beautiful smile. Slowly. Now let us start our day with a positive note. Good morning. Namaste everyone. Let us start. Now let us do a beautiful warm up for it's warming up our body and a slight exercise for our muscles and joints. Okay. Chalo, let's start. Take it, head rotations. Go up and come down. While you are going up, take a deep breathing. Coming down, breathe out. Come on. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax to the center. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax yourself to the center. Now we will do shoulder rotation for joint for shoulder joints. Okay. Now join your elbows before in front of your chest. When you come forward and go back. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax yourself to the center. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax yourself. Take a deep breath in and breath out. Now switch your arms. Just move forward and back. Start. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, open your chest up, eight, nine, ten. Relax yourself, hands on your mat, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Now hands over your head, just clap your hands and bring back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Clapping gives you happiness. So you have to clap your hands when you are in stress. It also gives very, very happy. It generates very good happiness in our body. Touching these fingers, index fingers, activates our nerves and activates the hormones, happy hormones, and makes us happy. Okay. Now hands on to the mat. Let us do twisting exercise. Now twist your body to right side. Hold the position. Take a deep breathing. Twist your body to left side. Continue to do it for. 10 times each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, twist completely. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax to the center. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Now, let us do some stretches to the side. Right hand over your left hand. Bend towards your right side by stretching your arm. Elbow should be straight. It should not bend like this. Okay. Now, let us open our chest. Roll back and bend and stretch your arm. Look at the room. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So relax to the center. Now other side. Left hand on your right thigh. Take a deep breathing. Stretch your arm. Roll back your shoulder. And open your chest. And bend to the left side. Hold the position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly relax to the center. Stretch right. Now let us do side bends. Bend towards your right side by placing your elbow. One, two, three, move. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Slowly breathe in and relax to the center. Hands on your mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax, right? Now stretch your legs forward. Stretch your hands up. Now stretch your hands up. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out, touch your two fingers and come up. Do it for 10 times. 
it helps to burn your stomach fat continue start doing switch rounds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 Breathing one while you are coming up, breathe out while you are going down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax yourself to the center. Hands on your mat, beside your hips. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Once you are relaxed, now let's do beautiful workout for our legs. Okay, stretch your leg. Sorry, pull your leg. Hold it tightly. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Now stretch your leg in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold your leg in this position. Just observe. Now hold your knee. Hold your toe. In between your elbows. First, wrap your leg with the left hand and wrap it, wrap it with your right hand. Hug your leg tightly, very tightly, close to your chest. Now, rock your baby. This is Sishu Sishu Has Father Has Tarsal. Okay, it's like a rocking our baby. Now, rock your baby as much as possible. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax your right foot. Now place it down. Hold your foot in this way. Interlock your fingers by holding your foot. Now straighten your spine and stretch your leg forward. Hold the position for ten counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly drop it down and place it on your right thigh. Okay. Now slowly fold your left leg towards your hip and with the support of your hands move your body forward as much as possible. Now your toes should touch your body. Hold the position. Do not lift your hips. Hold the position. Spine should be very much straight. It helps to increase the flexibility of your groin region. Stay there for few minutes. Sorry, few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly move back. Relax your left leg and relax your right leg. Now, with your left hand, catch your right foot, twist your body to right side, and stay in the position. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Stay there. Look at your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax yourself to the center and relax your arm. Now we did with our right leg. Now let us do with our left leg. Exercise to our left leg. Fold your leg. Take deep breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once you are relaxed, stretch your leg and bring it back in and out for ten counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Very good. Now hold it like a baby. Hold your toe. Hold it and wrap it in between your elbows. Now rock it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now drop your foot down. Stretch it forward. Like we did in day with right leg. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slowly put it forward. Sorry, put on your right thigh. Hold your right leg and move your body forward 
and hug your leg. Hold the position for 10 counts. It increases the flexibility in your left groin. Hold the position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly stretch your right leg and move back. Now relax your left toe. Hold your big toe of left leg with your right hand. Press your body, stretch your arm, hold the position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax yourself to the center. Relax your arms to the mat. And take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Once you are done, just slowly fold your legs and come to Vajrasana. Take a deep breathing. Breathe down. Now we'll increase the stretch in our sides again. Stretch your arms, bend towards your right and place your forehead to the ground. As much as possible, hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Relax, take a deep breathing. Come to the center and stretch your arms, bend towards your left side. Hold the position. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift your body, breathe in, and come to the center. Now let's do some good workout for our thighs and hip. Now hands in front of your chest in this position. Lock them if possible. Okay, take a deep breathing. Stretch your body up and down. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Hands on your mat. Just relax for 3 counts. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, one last time, breathe in and breathe out, okay. Now once you are done and relax, just come on to the mat by lifting your legs, okay. Just come back, stay on your mat, take a deep breath in, breathe out, widen your legs. Now we are going to do some intense warm up for our body. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, legs start, squat a little bit onto the legs in this position. Toes pointing forward, you have to squat and bounce and see whether you are able to squat or not. If you are having knee pain, just try to avoid, you can stay straight, okay? If you are not having knee pain, comfortably squat yourself. Now lock your hands in this position, raise your arms and chop your foot. This is called foot chopping workout that is called Kastitakshasa in yogic language. Okay? Chalo. Raise your hands up. Touch your mat and come back. Repeat it for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly drop your palms to the mat, straighten your knees, widen your legs more, walk towards your right side, turn your toe. Now hold your ankle and open your elbows and bring your body to, towards your knee. Do not bend your knee. Hold the position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So relax your hands. Walk towards your left leg slowly. And turn your toe. Hold your ankle. And open your elbows and bring your body to leg. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Slowly walk to the center. 
take a deep breath in, breathe out, hands on your waist and lift your body up. Warm the right, relax yourself by marching on your mat, take a deep breath in, breathe out, just march on your mat until you relax yourself completely. Okay, shake your hands, shake your legs, take a deep breath in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Hands in Samasthiti, relax, stay focused. Now, let us begin with our main workout, Sun Salutation. Sun Salutation, Lord Surya Bhagavan is the visible Lord. He protects us from many diseases. He gives us light and He gives us energy. So, we have to pay gratitude to our direct Lord who is visible. Okay? Let us pay gratitude with sun salutations. Sun salutations when it is performed with fast pace, decreases, lowers your cholesterol level and lowers your obesity and it decreases many other lifestyle diseases like PCOS, thyroid and many other things. It helps us and it benefits us in many other ways. When it is performed in moderate phase, it increases the flexibility and tones our muscles. When it is performed in slow pace, it helps to develop the focus and concentration. Each and every asana has its own benefit. Now let us look what are the asanas included in Surya Namaskar. So there is a special thing today. We are going to perform this Surya Namaskar for 6 rounds at fast pace with some variations. Okay? You all might be knowing the traditional Hatha Yoga Surya Namaskar. But today we are going to do same traditional Hatha Yoga Surya Namaskar with a variation in bedroom. Okay? Let us start. Stand in front of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Hands in Samasthiti. Open your fingers. Relax yourself. Once you are relaxed, bring your palms to the chest center and pay gratitude to Lord Surya, Surya Deva. Om Surya Namaha. Now, bring your hands back, hold your head, arch back a little bit, take a deep breath in, breathe out, bend forward. Hold your ankles, grab yourself towards your knees, Father Hasta, drop your palms down, right leg back, and back toe should be in relaxed position. Push your hips down, body straight, take it, deep breathing, breathe out, and hands over your head. This is Anjali Yasan. Take a deep breathing, stay there. One, two, three. Four, five. Now drop your hands down to the mat. Tuck your toe, lift your knee. Slowly bring back your legs to Adhumuga. Now bring back, bring down your body. Open your chest. Look at your belly button. Hold the position. This is called Adhumuga Savanasana. Now slowly move forward to Falaka. Drop your knees. Chest and chin to the back. Ashtanga Namaskar. Take it. Deep breathing. Scoop up your body to Buja. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. And with your hips high to Adhumuka Sarnasan. Again, take a deep breathing. Breathe out. And bring your right foot forward. And look forward. Take a deep breathing, raise your arms up and stay there in Anjali Yasan. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your hands to the mat, tuck your toe, lift your knee, bring back your left leg. And bend forward to Padrasta. Slowly raise your arms up, arch back, Hasputta, and Namaskar. This is one round of Surya Namaskar. We are going to do 
five more rounds. Let us stand in front of your mat again. Take a deep breathing. Answer Samasthiti. Breathe out. Let us pay gratitude to Sun God. Answer to Namaskar Mudra. Om Adityaya Namaha. Slowly lift your hands up. Arch back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend forward. Breathe in. Left leg back. Breathe out. Hands over your head again. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Drop your palms down to the mat. Tuck your toe. Bring your right leg back. Come to Adho Mukha Sadhanasana. Palata. Ashta. Puja. Adho Mukha. Now left leg forward. In between to Ashta Sanchalan. Back to relax. Hands over your head. Into Namaskar Nidra. Drop your hands down. Tuck your toe, right leg forward, Adhasta and Hastuta Namaskar. This is our second round. Four more rounds to go. Okay. Deep breathing. Breathe out. Hansa Samasthiti. Namaskar Mudra. Om Bhagavi Namaha. Raise your hands up. Arch work. Bend forward. Breathe out. Padhasta. Now, Ashta Sanchalas. Here, we are going to do another variation of sun salutation. Now, slowly, twist your hand and raise your right hand up. Stay in the position. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your right hand. Twist your body. Lift your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your left hand to the mat. Now tuck your toe. Lift your knees. Bring back your left leg. Come to Adho Mukha Savanasana. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And breathe. Move your body forward. Halaka. Drop your knees. Chest and chin. Arsta. Slowly. Scoop up. Bhuja. And lift your hips high to Adho Mukha. Now bring your right leg forward in between your hands. Take a deep breath in. Turn your body to right side. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your right hand. Twist your body to left side. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your hand down. Tuck your toe. Lift your knee. Bring forward to Padhasta and Raise your body up to first Buddha. Namaskar. Now we are going to do three more rounds. Let us start in front of your mat. Oh, hands into Namaskar Buddha. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Oh, Adkaya Namaha. Raise your hands up. Hast Buddha. Padhasta. Left leg back. Ashu Sanchalan, raise your right hand up, drop your right hand, raise your left hand up, drop your left hand, again tuck your toe, bring your right leg back to Adhunga, Palaka, Ashta, Subha, Puja, again come to Adhunga. Now slowly bring forward your left leg. Twist your body to right side. Raise your right arm up. Drop your right arm. And twist your body to left side. Drop your left hand down. Tuck your toe. Lift your knee up. Bring it forward. Padhasta. Hasputa. Namaskar. Now we are going to do last two rounds of Surya Namaskar for today. Okay. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Hands in Samasthiti. Let us bring palms to the chest center. Om Pushmi Namaha. Slowly raise your hands up. Bend forward. Right leg back. Ashta Sanchalan. Now observe. Right hands into Namaskar Mudra. In front of your chest, twist your body, 
tuck your elbow on your thigh and twist your body to left side. Hold the position. One elbow should face the roof. Hold the position, everyone. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come to the center. Drop your right hand. Drop your left hand. And bring back your left leg. Come to Adhukha. Palaka. Ashtam. Slowly scoop up. Push on. Flip your fix heart. Adhukha. Right leg forward again to Ashtam Chalak. Fix down. Hands into Namaskar Mudra. Twist your body and stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Relax yourself. Drop your palms to the center. Tuck your toe. Flip your knee. Bring forward your leg. Padhasta. Hasmuta. Namaskar. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. One last round of go. Take a deep breath in. Hands into Namaskar Mudra. Om Mitraya Namaha. Now, slowly raise your hands up. Arch back. Bend forward. Padhasta. Left leg back. Ashra Sanchalan. Hands into Namaskar Mudra. And twist your body to right side. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly to the center. Right leg back. Adhonga. Palaka. Ashtam. Bhujam. Adhonga. Left leg forward. Ashtasanchalan. Hands into Namaskar Mudra. Twist your body to left side. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your palms to the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out and bring your leg forward to Padhasta and Hasputa and Namaskar. This is our six rounds of sun salutations to begin our day. With a happy note. Your body becomes so much flexible with practicing Surya Namaskar daily. Take a deep breathing, breathe out, march on your mat to relax yourself. Just slowly march on your mat. Just breathe in, breathe out for your wife. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out for 11 counts. Just continue. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, we are going to perform the asanas that are related to obesity. Obesity is caused by sedentary lifestyle of today's generation. Continuously, we will be working on the system, no physical activity and many other causes are there. So, due to obesity, there will be lots of problems we are facing. What are those problems? Heart diseases, sugar, PCOS, thyroid and many other hormonal issues faced by everyone. Even children because lack of physical activity facing many problems like 4 years children are also facing so many problems due to lack of physical activity. So practicing yoga or any other physical activity will benefit you in good way to maintain your healthy lifestyle. Not only practicing yoga, you should concentrate on your eating style, sleeping patterns and everything that is possible and that, is, that keeps you healthy. So just stay focused to, uh, to save your health. Okay? Now let us start the asanas for our goodness and to reduce the fat in our body. Take deep breathing. Breathe out. Let us stand in front of the mat again. Take a deep breathing, breathe out. Before starting, take a deep breathing, breathe out, breathing, breathe out. Slowly bring your palms over your head, 
and hands into namaskar mudra legs together and straighten your hands straighten your spine slightly arch back and bend forward this is called samkonasana take a deep breath in stay there for five counts 1 2 3 4 5 slowly palms to the chest center lift your body up and hips straight slowly bend your knees try to avoid this asana if you are having knee pains if you are not having knee pains please be happy to perform this asana okay now slowly bend your knees and hips down hands into namaskar mudra slowly twist your body to right side uttadasan this dead chair pose it helps to burn the stomach fat Stay there for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Now, hand beside your left foot. Raise your arm up. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. To the center. Take a deep breath in. Twist your body to other side. Hold the position. Elbow should be facing the room. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly. Drop your right hand. Raise your left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly drop your left hand also, and hands to the center. And catch hold your ankles and pull yourself to the towards your knee by opening your elbows and sucking your stomach in. This is Father Hastasan. If you are having vertigo issues. Do not practice Padmasana. It will increase your giddiness. Okay. Now, after Padmasana, stand in front of your mat. Again, go back to Padmasana. Drop your palms down. Lift your body up. Uttanasana. This is Uttanasana. Now, slowly place your hands firmly. Check whether you are stable or not. Once you are stable, take a deep breath in. Breathe out and. Jump back to the mat to Falakasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly observe. Drop your body to elbow level. This is called Chidurang Dandasana. Slowly scoop up and stay there. Udhunga Savanasana. Scoop up and stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Again. Lift your hips high and come to Parvatasana. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly bring your right leg forward. Do not drop your back knee. Do not drop your back knee. Turn your back toe to just observe. Turn your back toe to forty-five degrees. Once you are stable, take a deep breathing and breathe out. Lift your body up. This is called Warrior One. Stay there. Arms should be straight. Focus forward and stay there for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly drop your hands. Stretch your arms and twist your body to right side. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Straighten your knee. Straighten your knee. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Straighten your arms. Straighten your arms. Pelvis open. Look at your right hand and lean forward. Your body slowly drop your hand and catch hold your ankle or you can place your hand beside your foot. Okay. And twist your body. Raise your left hand. Stay there. Look at your left hand. Trikonasana, triangle pose. We call it as to burn your side back. Okay. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Now slowly drop your left hand beside your right foot. Twist your body and raise your right hand up. One, two, three, four, 
Five. Drop your both hands down now. Drop your leg down. Bend your knee, right knee. Come to Ashu Sanchal. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Tuck your toe. Bring your right leg back. Now again, Falaka. Drop your body to elbow level. Chetura. Scoop up, breathe in. Ulkonka. Again to Parvatasana. Now we did with right leg, right? Now we are going to do with left leg. This is called Parvatasana. Now bring your left leg forward in between your hands. Do not drop your knee down. Tuck your toe. Twist it to 45 degrees. And lift your body to warrior one. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Relax your hands. Straighten your knee. We are going to do from this side for your view. Okay. Now, again warrior two. Bend your knee down. Right leg in 45 degrees. Stretch your arms and stay there. One. So, tight alignment should be horizontal to the mat and lift your body, open your chest. Look at your left hand, ring finger. One, two, three, four, five. Once you are done, straighten your knee, stretch your arms more straight, take a deep breathing, breathe out. Now, slowly lean forward and catch hold your ankle. Twist your body, hands straight, open your chest more. Hold the position, triangle pose. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your right hand down and twist your body, lift your left hand up. Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. This is called Paribhrita Trikonasan. Twisted triangle. Drop your hands down. Come back to Ashu Sanchala. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Now, drop your hands completely onto the mat. Tuck your toes. Lift your leg. Bring it back. Again to Falaka. Chedula. Breathe in Pudmuka. Breathe out to Adhunga. Now, slowly stay there. Breathe in and breathe out. For three counts, you walk, you can drop your knees and rest in tissue for a while before continuing. One, breathe in and breathe out. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly come to table. Come to table. This is table pose. Spine should be straight. Now stretch your legs. Stretch your legs, body alignment should be straight. You should not bend your hips or lift your hips. Should be very much straight. Do not bend your knees also. Okay. Now focus. Open your fingers. Left hand in the center of the mat. Slowly twist your groin first. And twist your body to right side. This is Vasishtasan. Improves your hand strength, balances Improves your focus. If you are not able to hold this position, you can modify the asana with the help of your knee. In this way, hold the position. Stay the five counts. One, if you can, okay, stretch your leg and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your right hand and relax yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Now slowly, drop your knees. Then stretch issue, breathe in, breathe out. Now we are going to do it other side. Come back to the mat, come to the table, stretch your legs again to Palakasana. Right hand in the center, fingers open. Twist your body to left, hand, left side, raise your left hand, hold the position. One, two, three, four, five. Relax yourself. Drop your left hand, breathe in and breathe out. Drop your knees, relax it. Sishu, one, two, three, four, five. Once you are done, just come back to the center. 
Switch, straighten your knees, breathe in, breathe out. So we drop your body again to Chandra, elbow level, and hold the body to the mat. Hands in, Mudrasana. Place your chin happily. In between your hands, just breathe in and breathe out for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Now place your hands down. You are going to do cobra pose. Bend your legs. Lift your body up and down for five counts. One, two, three, four. Five. Once you are done, relax yourself, relax your leg, hands in front of your forehead, take a deep breathing, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Again, we are going to do, take a deep breathing and place your hands beside your chest, lift your body up to Palakasana. Again. Take a deep breathing, breathe out, come to Adhamuka, here. Observe everyone here, take a deep breathing, breathe out. Either you can step forward to deep swat or else if possible, it will be very intense. If possible, take a deep breathing and bend your knees, jump forward in this way. So, slowly. Hands into Namaskar Mudra. This is Malasan. Helps to prevent digestion related issues. Push your legs with the help of your elbows. Stay there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slowly put your hands back of your hips and drop your body to the mat. Happily sit down now. Okay? Happily. Sit up. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. It's not over. Let's do some interesting asana. It will improve your focus. Most powerful asana to burn your belly fat. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Hands on your mat. Happily pull your legs and bring it forward. So, here it doesn't end. That is the story in front. Okay? Stretch your legs forward. Look at your big toes once you are comfortable. Relax your hands. Look at your big toes. Stay focused. Stay there. In now castle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, everyone. Drop your knee, drop your legs down, straighten your spine, happily relax yourself by shaking your body. Okay? Let's now go over both. Happy kids will grow. Kids might have listened this. Row, row, row your boat. Let's do that now. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax yourself. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Spine should be straight and relax yourself. Now, it doesn't end here. Let us do a few more. Bend your knees. Push your hips forward. Place your hands onto the mat. Fingers should be facing your hips. Place your hands firmly. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and lift your hips high as high as possible. Head should be loosened. Do not keep it tight. Take a deep breath in. Stay there. This is called reverse table. One, two, three, four, and five. Happily, 
Put your hips down. Relax your head. Stretch your legs. Right? I should see beautiful smile on your face at the end of the session. You should not cry. Your part should cry. Okay? Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once you are relaxed, happy. Lie down on your mat. Yoga is happiness. Yoga is not sadness. You should not feel the sad. You should feel happy. Yoga generates that superpower to stay happy and it calms down our mind. Okay, everyone? Now let's do Pavan Muktasana. That means wind relieving asana that releases all your gases in the stomach as it balances the acid state in your mind, in your stomach. Now fold your legs, hug your knees, bring your chin to the knees. Hold the position, rock yourself. Massage your spine, hug your knees tightly, happily rock yourself. This is called Pavana Mukta Sen. Enjoy your rocking. Do not feel the stress. And relax slowly. Bend to the mat. Drop your legs. One asana for our backbone and for our stomach fat. One last day, Sita Bandhasana, which we have seen yesterday. Place your hands happily on your mat for me and lift your hips high as high as possible and pull, walk back to the walk, shoulders. Okay? Hold the position. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly drop your hips down. The last and the stress relieving asana is the beautiful and my most favorite asana that is Ananda Balasan. Happy baby pose. If you notice a small kid or a toddler or an infant baby, they will put their legs in their mouth, big toes in their mouth and they will do their hands and legs in this way. So, same way, hold your big toes. Now we have to become happy baby. Feel yourself like a baby, okay? Don't feel like you are a grown up. Every, time, every day, you should start your day like a baby only. You should learn new things. You should stay happy. You should stay fit like a baby. Okay? Stay happy. Now, fold your big toes. Extend your legs. And rock your body. One. Two. This is happy baby pose. Ananda Balasana. I am repeating. Three. Stress relieving asana. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and one last round to go. Ten, stretch your legs, slowly relax your legs, down to the mat, and toes falling apart, hands falling apart. Look at the roof, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out with the soothing sound of your environment. Feel the breeze, feel the air. Just lie down in Shavasan. Slowly breathe in, breathe out, and close your eyes. Stay happy forever. Remove all your stress. Lie down in Shavasana. Do not move your toes. Do not move your hands. Breathe in and breathe out for one minute. Stay there. Stay calm. 
focus on your body. God has given you such a beautiful body. Just enjoy every moment. He has provided with you, provided you with all the luxuries you want. Just, just utilize them. Stay happy. Stay calm. Just recollect all your good memories. Remove out all your stress. Recollect the beautiful smile of your little toddlers. Their happy smile, innocent faces. Just listen to your heartbeat. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out slowly. Move your toe fingers. Move your toes in and out. Now move your fingers. Move your hands up and down. Roll your hands. And move your head right to left and to the center. Gently open your eyes. Hold your legs. And twist them to right side and left side. Slowly turn your body to left side. Place your palm beside your chest with the help of your hand. Slowly get up to the mat and sit comfortably. Spine should be erect. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Now we are going to perform a beautiful pranayam for our Obesity and for burning the fat in our body and even it removes all the toxins. If the toxins are removed, we will be feeling uh, fresh and all the fat will be burned off. Okay, let's start. Sit comfortably, spine should be erect. Roll back your shoulders, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Palms facing the roof, slowly. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. The pranayam today we are going to do is bastika. That melts of all the fat in your body. So just start your pranayam with a beautiful smile on your face. Because you are going to burn off your fat, right? So you should be staying happy, okay? Chalo, make the fist in front of your shoulders. Today we are going to see the Pastika variation by stretching your arms forward by opening your palms while you are breathing in. Bring it back while you are breathing out. You have to do it actively. There should not be any passive pose. Okay? You should do inhale actively. Bring it back actively. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Now before starting that. We are going to cleanse our nose. By inhale, inhalation and exhalation, we are going to cleanse our right, right nostril first, then our left nostril. First, with the thumb, help of thumb finger, close your left nostril. Take a deep breath in from right nostril. Breathe out from right nostril. Same, same way, continue for five rounds from right side. And continue from left side for five times. Now let's start from right side. Close your nose, nostril, left nostril with the help of thumb finger. Chill. Let's start. Take a deep breath in from right. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe Breathe in, breathe out, last two rounds, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now close your right nostril, start with left nostril. Now your right nostril is cleansed out from dust and if there is any blockage due to cold, it will be relaxed. Okay, 
Let's start from left nostril. Take a deep breathing. Breathe out. Breathe in. 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 Breathe out. Now blend your both both nostrils, right? Mind is cleansed. It's free, uh, it's flowing freely. Air is flowing freely. So now let's start. Hope you are done with this cleansing process of your nose. Let us start. Sit in the position. Hands in Chin Mudra. Breathe in and breathe out for three counts and start the process of Basvika. Let's start. Make the fist in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in. Stretch your arms. Breathe out. Bring it back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We are going to do it for 11 counts. Now it's time for 4 counts. We are going to do 7 more counts. Breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Hands on your mat. Take deep breathing. Breathe out. Now slowly place your right hand on your chest, left hand on your stomach. Feel the air flow. Feel the power of the strika. Take deep breathing. Relax yourself. Hands on your mat. Again, we are going to do it for second round. Okay? Chill out. Once you are relaxed, let us make it possible. By spine erect, shoulders roll back. Take deep breathing again. Make the fist in front of your chest. Lose this. Okay? Now, start doing elbow straight. Stretch your arms when you breathe in. Bring it back when you breathe out. Come on. Continue. Breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Again, right hand on your chest. Left hand on your stomach. Just feel the power of Bastrika. Stay calm. Focus on your heartbeat. Breathe in and breathe out. For three counts, relax yourself. Relax your hands onto the mat. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. So relax. Let us discuss few points about Pastrika and the asana split it good. So these are the few asanas and the good pranayama for weight loss. This increases the flexibility, improves your lung capacity and oxygen levels in your body. It tones your thigh muscles, tones your hands, tones your face and tones your back muscles and hips and everything that is possible. It eradicates all the health issues. Practicing this for 40 minutes to 1 hour will, help, will give you lots of health benefits. Okay, now a major lifestyle diseases like diabetes will be controlled with the help of yoga. It removes all your stress, Padhasta mainly, Bhujangasana and Happy Baby and Shavasana. These are the asanas which gives you lots of benefits from and by eradicating the stress in your body. If the stress is removed and if the stress is removed, you will stay happy. If you stay happy, that boosts up your immunity and keeps your body healthy. And even Surya Namaskar and many other asanas improves your metabolism in good way. So it absorbs all the nutrients and from your food. 
food that you need. So by that way, keeps your body healthy and fit forever. So just try to take your time for one hour a day and practice the yoga every day. Okay. So now let us wind up the session with a beautiful relaxation and closing prayer. And Sinchin Mudra, take a deep breath in and breathe out for 11 counts. Last three counts, just breathe in, breathe out. Remove all your stress. Focus on your eyebrow center. Listen to your heartbeat. Now let us thank God for giving this beautiful body, beautiful life, beautiful soul and all the beautiful relations connected to it. Let us thank God for giving everything that is very nice to our life. Now let us thank yourself for giving time for your health and for your goodness. Stay positive. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Now with this positive state of mind, let us pray for the goodness of whole world. Slowly bring your palms to the chest center. Roll back your shoulders. And... Let us chant Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu for three counts. For oh, goodness of entire world. Take a deep breath in. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Now slowly take a deep breath in, breathe out, rub your palms, make them warm. Gently give a massage to your forehead, with your fingers, to your nasal bridge, with your index finger and to your ear lobes and chin, upper leg, every part of the face. Once you are done, again hands into Namaskar Mudra, rub your palms, make them warm, place them on your eyes, take a deep breath in, breathe out, slide down your fingers, go down your head to the fingertips, take a deep breath in and relax your head and gently open your eyes. With a beautiful smile on your face. Namaste. That's it for today. Hope you all understood the goodness of yoga. Hope you all enjoyed. If there is any concerns, please text us. We'll be answering your queries. Thank you for attending everyone. Namaste. Have a good day. Stay fit. Stay healthy. Thank you.